for following us on our visit to Estero Llano Grande, and I apologize, I know I butchered the pronunciation there. Estero Llano Grande is in Westlaco, Texas, near the U.S.-Mexico border. It's one of nine members of the World Birding Center, and it's one of three state parks that are part of the World Birding Center. If you watched last week's video, you saw Rosaca de la Palma, which is also a member. And if you come back next week, or if you're watching after August 20th, you can see our video on the Benson Rio Grande Valley International State Park, and that's the third World Birding Center in the Texas State Park system. Estero Grande is a day use only park and as of the time of recording it's open from 8 to 5 Wednesday through Sunday. You should probably check the park's website which I'm going to link in the description below and I'm going to link it on the blog post just to make sure of those times. Now this is a young park. It was cobbled together from a variety of different land tracks in 2006 and one of those land tracks looks like it probably was a private campground or an RV park at one time. Members of the World Birding Center have to restrict the use of the facilities in order to preserve the habitat so that the birds continue to come back every year. So there is no camping in Estero Llano Grande. The name Estero Llano Grande comes from the 1790 Llano Grande land grant issued by uh, the King of Spain, Carlos IV, to the regional justice who was the head of the Hinojosa family. The English word for Estero is estuary or wetland. We did a little bit of research and we don't really consider ourselves birders, so just know that we're not experts on this. The spring migration generally runs from about March to May with most of the action happening around April. And the fall migration starts in August and ends around October. And the biggest number of birds that fly through is around September. Just remember, we're not experts and different species migrate at different times. So if there's a, sp a specific bird that you would like to see, just uh, double check and see when they migrate through this area. And of course, some species are residents and they can be seen year round in the park.
just had to record this to say that this is an awesome bird blind. That's what the whole bird blind looks like, but each one of these panels that has a dowel rod on them. So all the ones that have a dowel rod like that rotate down. And they've got magnets to hold them in place. So pretty much from about, that's what, two and a half feet off the ground roughly? About, yeah. To about four feet off the ground. Well, I'm five foot six. You're five foot eight. No, four and a half to five feet, maybe. Yeah. And that is the bird blind. Now it's only been here for a couple of months, so the birds aren't used to it, the blind yet. So they're not really uh, visiting the water feature. Some green jays have been flitting around the bushes, but they just they haven't gotten used to it yet. So in about a year, this is probably going to be a really awesome bird blind.